Come to a tunnel, a long tunnel. You got to get it in, man. You really can't play. So one more time for y'all. What's up guys welcome on back at tk's garage and today yep i'm out here in las vegas again today and we're going to do a copart walk around this one's going to be a little bit different though um you know we've done a whole lot of mopars or so many mopars we've done so many audis um i think we did how many you know so many mustangs well today we're doing so many bmws and then um, we also got regular Copart walk-arounds. And actually, I didn't expect to win or pick up anything out here. But I, I did a quick bonus video for you guys earlier this week. And the price was so good on this car. Even though I know it's doctored up, I had to buy it. Because it's a clean title. Just the value of the car is insane. Now, I know you guys are going to say I'm crazy. And some of you probably already guessed and know what it is. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video oh so guys no list today we're literally i get do i call this i was gonna say free balling but i don't think that's the word <laughs> i think it's free wheeling i'm sorry free balling oh, i'm done <laughs> i'm already done man i already got the giggles early in the morning oh Vanderhall, huh? That must be like a luxury Polaris. I know we're looking at BMWs, but I want to see what that is. Now, I have a whole video for you guys on these side-by-sides and stuff coming soon because you guys have asked for it. So, um, we'll we'll jump into it. But, yeah. I guess they have like a custom, like little luxury Polaris out of this. Interesting. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program, and I see the first BMW on the list today. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I know you're going like, TK, you're being too mother effing silly today, man. Look at this Jeep. Huh, too bad we're only looking at BMWs today. We'll have to come back and look at this here in a little bit. But this is a BMW Z4 with the inline six beast beast motor that's a lot of motor for this little itty bitty car it's a 16 all right now it took a massive hit to the front let's lift the hood the engine looks like it's okay the core support is bent right here but the good thing about this is um it's all bolt on right so you could literally unbolt this bolt in a new one but this is also tweaked and bent right here this section right here and then the frame rails are bent as you can see here and you can see where it kinked right there so this one is effectively done could you fix it yeah you could cut it you could you could weld in some more rails but is it worth it hell no I don't know if you ask me. She's clean. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean, it, there's potential. And if you got it for a cheap enough price, and I've been surprised, cars on the West Coast are going fairly cheap compared to the East Coast. Um, but do you want the Aaron V edition uh, of the Z4? I don't know, man. Anybody that puts their name... Oh, I guess I should shut up my license plate. Anyways, on to the next one. Yo, why they do the police like that, man? I guess they, they done defunded them so much, they putting them into Chevy Cruises, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to keep the magic going, guys. We're going to keep on rolling, baby. Yeah. And what do we find? Well, we didn't have to walk too far to find the next BMW, but we have my favorite BMW of all time now not this model specifically but this body style 
This is a BMW E39. Um, pretty much I got to learn everything I wanted to about working on a BMW by this car. Um, I don't know what this is. It has the nicer upgraded wheels, so I'm going to guess it's at least a 530 to 540. Now, a 540 is literally just a step down from the E39 M5. And if you can find a 540 with a manual, you have basically everything except the M suspension. Now, this one is an M Sport, has the M steering wheel. It is an automatic. So people that couldn't, they only made the M5 in a manual. So people that couldn't get, or people that couldn't drive a manual got the 540 um, in the E39 for that reason. Now let's take a look around the other outside. Now the paint, uh, one of the windows is down, so you got flat. Chrome is coming off the rim. She's in rough shape. She's definitely in rough shape, but she's a decent restoration project. I could tell you that. Definitely a no start. Uh, and it's from auction dealer services, which means it probably came from a dealer that got this on a trade-in and was like, I'm not dealing with this basket case. But I like it. You know, this had the updated seats with the you know, upgraded seats with the bolsters that would pop out. I love that. Ugh. Let's take a look at her real quick. I doubt she has power, but we'll give her a shot. Let me find out you got the wrong key for the car. <laughs> oh, shit. Somebody, somebody broke a key off in the damn lock. Hold on, let me see if I can get you guys to see that. Focus for me, camera. Come on, please. Focus right there. Look at that. Damn key broke off in the lock, man. Now that's a friggin' nightmare. The cup holders, which are common to break, are already broken on this one. Nothing to be surprised about there. Um, and she's covered in dust. The molding and stuff is popping off. You know. Yeah, man. Sad to see one like this, but not much you really can do, man. Not much you really can do. I mean, it could be a decent restoration project for the right amount of money, but I wouldn't be dumping a bunch of money into something like this. I just wouldn't. Hell no. Nah. But, you know, kid's first project, make him work on a car. He really wants a BMW, buy him something like this. He'll learn real quick whether he really loves the brand <laughs> or he don't, you know? But, uh, yeah, E39, clearly my favorite BMW of all time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Next. All right, guys. We're going to keep on rolling, baby. I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm clowning. Whew. Oh, we got a couple more BMWs coming up here in quick succession. I might even be able to give you guys an all Lamborghini video because there's like six of them shits here. <laughs> I might be able to give you all an all Lambo video. Oh. So. This is a BMW, what I like to call body style F10. Now this supposedly runs and drives. Um, and I'm guessing they started to work on it and they said F it. Now you can see, well at least the tires and stuff look good on it. The front plastic is what's missing. It had the fog lights, right? The core support, this is the good thing on this, right? The core support and everything is right where it's supposed to be. All of this stuff is good. You literally could buy a fender, a bottom skirt, put this together, put the front fascia. The tire is done. Look at that. She probably needs some suspension work. Look at that rim. Holy crap. So, you need a tire and a rim, definitely some suspension work on that side, I have no doubt. Let's look, let's look under the uh, hood, let me pop her real quick, and we'll look and see if we see any other damage. Now, it looks like they included the front, fin the front end right here, but double pull. Now, the F10 is probably my second favorite 5 Series next to the E39, and I really don't like... I mean, I like the older ones, too, 
before the E39, but this right here though, man, space gray metallic. I think mine was black sapphire metallic. Um, she looks clean, but there's not much you're gonna see under here. You can check the coolant level and see if there was any damage to the uh, coolant system. And don't be afraid to open these, they're a bitch. Woo, she's got fluid, but not much. That's not a positive sign. But then again, my F10, like I used to have to add a little coolant to her between every other oil change and i don't know like if it was i don't think it can use water or use coolant but it did it was weird so you can see here like the skirt on this side the fender if you get the skirt the fender it's all bolt on right you bolt everything on put it back together hood closes right you probably would be okay with this now there's going to be a lot of other stuff like scratches and stuff that they're going to point out but putting thing, this thing together... Ooh, look at that back room is busted all up too, man. Damn. Uh, damn. Sorry, I kept y'all zoomed in there for a second. Damn. That back is busted. And this is a 550. So this is literally, again, right under the M5. Now this is probably not an M Sport because it looked like the front end is the luxury front end. Yeah, it's just got the regular front end. But the nicer bolstered seats. She's dead as a door even though the keys are here. Oh, she fires up though. It didn't give me any notifications and stuff when she fired. 107,000 miles on the clock. Adaptive headlight malfunction. We expect that. Washer fluid low. Right, <laughs> duh. Uh, let's turn this off. Fog lamp malfunction, you think? Resetting TP, TPMS, yeah. Fog lamp malfunction. Let's see how she runs when she gets to idle. Cornering light, duh. But what I like to see on this, especially for a big V8 BMW, is I don't see any smoke. I don't see any smoke. So that means that no, no oil getting past the valves, right? It's not burning oil. No check engine light. Good power. She's good. This thing would be a great, great put together project for sure, man. Somebody could have a ball with this. Somebody could have a friggin' ball with this one right here. Let's check and see if she has typical transmission issues. Nope. Goes right into gear. No delay. Goes right into reverse. No problem. Yeah, she runs and drives really good, man. Huh. So, basically, this one is a purely cosmetic issue. So, you could you could definitely you could definitely put this one back together. 107,000 miles. Seems like a lot on a BMW like this. The transmissions really that get a bad rap in the F10 are really not that bad. It's usually electronic shit. It's not um it's not the hardware itself. So, you know, it could be solenoids and other crap stuff that you can actually do and if you get into these cars i promise you you're going to want to learn how to work on them yourself you do not want to take something like this to the shop because it will break your wallet huh well let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments um i think it's pretty cool me personally i mean but that's just me all right guys next on the list we have a bmw x3 now this one is in really rough shape guys she took a hit and they was trying to do that old school chrysler cab ford design like they was they was pulling the whole suspension forward and you can see the ball joint and the arm down there like she is torn up now this is an x drive which means say it with me that shit's expensive <laughs> now it is a newer x3 being it's a 19 so it's got the little flaps and stuff in the grill to help modulate the temperature. But both of the front tires are busted and flat. You're probably going to have suspension issues all under this joint as it's undercarriage damage, right? Not to mention this over here. I mean, 
the fender's gone. Luckily, it didn't do any damage to the core support. You could just buy a fender and keep it moving, replace the rims and tires in the front, fix the suspension. But just so you know, like the strut and everything, you know, you know, Fat Joe said lean back. This thing said lean forward. All right. So that is a negative. Hell to the no, no, no. Now it's only got 24 thousand miles on it so i'm sure she looks really clean on the interior and she does now it is listed as a run and drive but we all know that that's not the case right she's not going to be running and driving nowhere but she fires up low tire pressure you think oh she got a check engine light too huh well, we know it runs, it does have a check engine light, so there could be other stuff that happened under the vehicle. So, uh, this one is extra risky, you know. But where it's newer, you know, if you did put it back together, you'd probably have a really good and easy success in flipping it or selling it. Because, you know, people like these, and the X3 from this is a little bit bigger than, you know, say, an X1. So, yeah, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Which brings me over here to this BMW X1. You know, I had one of these as a, like a loaner vehicle. This is a 13. And um, it really wasn't that bad, to be honest. Like, I took it on a trip. They gave it to me. This is when I was in Miami. And I needed to go to Atlanta. And I drove that shit all the way to Atlanta and back. And it was great, man. It, it drove fine. I mean, granted, I heard that there were mechanical nightmares and pieces of crap. But I was able to throw all my luggage in it and drive it for that trip. I'm not recommending anybody go out and just buy one of these joints. So I'm just telling you, it worked good for me. This one looks very clean. Lost type is mechanical, though. So that'll, that'll tell you something. And she's dead as a doornail. So no power on this one. But being that it has mechanical damage, that does not surprise me. Um, what I hear about these is that they break consistently water pumps overheating head gaskets all con you you know you name it this is kind of like the mini cooper of bmw which you know if you didn't know bmw owns mini um and there's a reason why mini coopers are crap they kind of get all the leftover stuff from bmw um so the x1 is kind of the same way in the in that same vein it's just a crap little suv it's a throwaway car that you pay a lot of money for so, yeah, figured I'd show it because I'm going to say I didn't show a BMW. So there it is. Crap. All right, guys, we're going to keep on moving here and see what we can find. Ho, 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 ho. Now, this is kind of like the granddaddy of BMWs. I like the old 7 Series. A lot of people say that these are shit. I've seen people buy these. And I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about this one. I've seen people buy these. And they literally just throw them away. Because they have like valve issues. Transmission issues. You name it. The 7 Series is kind of the vehicle that they throw all the new shit. All the new tech. Everything gets thrown in to this car. 750 Li. And these things are known. Plagued with transmission problems, man. Plagued with smoke. You know, smoking and all that. You can still. Could you still drive it though? Hell yeah. Man, the interior on this one is not bad either. She's fairly clean. I bet you, though, she probably has a leech in her battery. I guarantee you this one's probably not going to start, but we'll take a look at it. Woo! She fired up, though. But did you hear that rattle? Yeah. Washer fluid. Look, look at this. When I tell you the 7 Series was a problem, maybe I'll make this to thumbnail. BMW walk around and all the lights are on. <laughs> Yo, someone's gonna be, someone's gonna be like TK. That's wrong, man. Now she ran like crap when she first started. You heard it. Let me give her some throttle now that she's circulated some oil. 
What I am surprised about though is she's not smoking. And these normally smoke like a chimney. Um, so that's a positive. But like I said, everything else that's electronic on this car is known for going bad. Look, the BMW assist mill, every electronic component in this car has failed. All of them. Parking, all every this is this is this is this is the part of the video where someone's gonna clip it out and share it on TikTok and be like, look. Ev look, the AC works though. Why well, you bullshit? That AC is nice and cold. Let me hit that max button. Hell yeah. That AC is nice and cold, man. Oh, that's great. Look, steering. Like, you name it. Every single fault. We have a, a, a brake fault, steering fault, engine fault check engine light brake fault like it this is ridiculous every single light is up on this car that's horrible absolutely horrible well this doesn't want to come out now it was like barely out this is the phone keypad hmm everything else in here looks pretty clean you know, BMW assist is a fluid loss in steering suspension hydraulic system. Oof. Like, this thing has got every problem that you don't want. Let me try to start her one more time. She didn't sound bad after the second start, but she's got too many issues, man. Like, this is the, this is the typical, you know, ha, 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 BMWs have every single light out or every single light on on the dash yeah that's the case and this is a 2007 bmw 750 so like pretty much this thing this thing would bankrupt you if you wanted to sort out the issues and it's just a 750 like i've seen other people try to do this with these cars like um Hoobie's garage is a prime example i think that dude gets the biggest tax write-off every single year uh, by just fixing a few BMWs, you know, you just fix a couple BMWs a year and take a fat ass loss and you ain't got to pay no taxes. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, horrible, horrible, just horrible. Now, not all BMWs are horrible. I'm just saying just these seven series, these old seven series, you better, you better know what you're doing before you buy one of these. All right, let's go on to the next one, which brings me to another Similar body style, same 750. Is it a 750 or a 740? This one is the 750, and it's offered by my favorite place, Pedal. What you want to bet? Now it's you know what'd be funny is if this one runs and drives and doesn't have any lights, and that one had all the lights. Oh, she ain't got no key. Ha ha ha! Look, when you see the hood thing already pulled, you know what it is. All right, the key is in the ignition, and it won't come out, and you're dead. And it's from pedal, so I already know what to expect here, so I'm good. We don't need to look at this, because we just looked at the same car anyway. So, bye-bye. Next. Oh, uh, but this will let you know, if you are a BMW enthusiast, and you're looking for a project, you can find it. You know, one of the things about here at Copart is, pretty much every single brand is represented and i mean every single brand is represented you can find something from every single car manufacturer right here with no problem at all um and the prices at least that i'm seeing right now on the west coast are actually pretty friggin' good man it all depends on what you're looking for and what you the consumer or want to do if you like to get into you know picking up your own project or learning how the process goes itself you can go check out copart.com forward slash tk's garage is tks garage all one word and uh go sign up get you a guest account watch a couple auctions if you really like it then sign up now we're going to get into and this is through pedal so i should automatically not even look at this car 
but I love the way she looks. It is a BMW X5. This is my favorite version of the X5, the E53. I love this damn thing. Lost type is unknown. It's an 01 X5. She got 131,000 miles on it, which is not a lot for this car. And I say car, it is what it is. This green paint, though, man, she looks amazing. This thing, I know you're saying, don't do it, Teague. No, don't do it. But she's got the washers. I doubt she's going to run, but I'll give her a shot. Man, she's clean. For a pedal car, this thing is clean. She's got power. I see lights on. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. I think I found a pedal car that runs. Check rear lights. I'm not even worried about all that. Brakes good? Yep. Let's see. Drive. Woo! You see that long delay? Reverse. Drive. Do you see that delay? Let me let you look at the ground so you can see it. I'm in neutral. I'm going to go into drive. See that? You'll see when the camera shakes. I'm going to count it off. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Yeah, that's. So, so the transmission is a little weak. Transmission's a little weak. Radio work? Want it to be. It'll be because you're praying. Alrighty. And you better pray if you buy one of these. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know what though? This thing is really nice. It's clean. The interior, I know you guys are telling me right now, TK, it'll be it'll be you know what though? It'll be a hundred percent my fault if I buy another damn car from pedal. And it breaks. It's 100% on me. Fog lights, do they work? No error light, so that's a win. Headlights? No error light, so that's a win. Power steering wheel? That's rare that that works. All right. 280 miles of range and fuel. Let's look here. 18 miles a gallon, not bad. That's all we got in here, huh? Let's check the other side. Oh, that's... The, oh, hey, look. The windshield wipers work, man. That's rare. Uh-oh, are they, are they going to get stuck and keep going? All right. Nobody wanted you to do it twice. But, look, the windows are nice and clean. The wipers... I'm shocked. This has got to be the nicest pedal car I think I've ever seen. Let's give her some throttle now that she's had some chance to circulate the oil. Ooh, she had a little... She got a misfire. For sure. Oh, nah, this don't sound like no inline six. This sounds like the V8. <laughs> Let me look at the exhaust pipe. Oh, yeah. That's why it's here. Listen, man, the 3.0, the 3.0 inline V6 is the best motor you can get with this thing. Yep, she got the V8. Damn. Not to say that it's a bad motor if it was taken care of, you know. But. Whew. She doesn't sound bad. She looks good. Physically, like if you wash this thing, this thing would be beautiful, man. Wash it, clean the rims, armor all this joint. This thing would look amazing. Well. I know I shouldn't do it. I know I shouldn't do it. But I'm going to add it to my watch list. I know, I know, I know that you guys are going to give me so much shit in the comments for buying another pedal car. But I got to be honest. I have not seen one look like this at all. And maybe this one just slipped through the cracks and it was nice. Now, I'm not stupid. I already know that the transmission is like, eh. You know, she's a little loose. But more than likely, that's just solenoids. The, the, the hardware on this transmission with only 130,000 miles can't be bad yet. It just It's just not. So, a service. Change out them solenoids. 
and keep it moving. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. All right, guys. And we have this BMW M3. Absolutely. I'm not a fan of the color. I, I don't like it. Uh, but I love the body style. I love the car. I love the wide body stance that these things have. Smash door, smash door. You guys saw this on a walk around earlier this week. Smash fender, smashed hood. Um, I don't think, and it, the hood didn't open either, did it? It was like stuck. Yeah. So I couldn't even get that part open. I remember that now. Sad, sad, sad to see her like this. 18 M3 in gold. I hate that SMG transmission too. Sad to see it like this though. Really is. Eh. See? And you'll be like, why do you spend more time on these crap ones? But you, you didn't really look because there's really not much to show you with this one. Oh man. And what's crazy is, like, I can mess around and film out here all day and have like 30 videos, like, like, you know two hours of nothing but bmws there's so many out here it's ridiculous it's, it's it's really ridiculous it's not even funny how many uh bmws are out here but it's the same thing for like insert any other brand like this is just a big yard man there's just so many cars here we're not looking at mercedes but we saw this one before in the previous video it looks cool all right now we got another one over here now this one has undercarriage damage, but we've already looked at a 550 today. So, I mean, we'll do a quick walk around of it, but we're not gonna spend a ton of time on this car. Just doesn't make any sense to do so. But she's clean. She has a lot of undercarriage damage though. Um, it's, it says it's listed as a run and drive, but they took the keys. We've checked this one out before. It's got a thing in it that says do not start, so. Oh, now the next one I'm going to show you, which we did see one of these already, but this is a much nicer version. This is an AMG, I think, right here too. It is an S63, huh? All right. Um, we have another BMW E39. Now this is a lesser model than the 540 we were looking at earlier, and I kind of like these more. Then, that, then the 540, this is either a 528 or a 530, my guess. Um, they're more reliable, and they're kind of like Hondas. 525i, there you go. Because they just run, the motors, the inline sixes, and these run forever, man. She's got a lot of dust in here. A lot of dust. <clears throat> Must have been a window stuck open or something for a long time. Yeah, she's dead. Ooh, she smells like ass. But body-wise, she is fairly well put together, if you ask me. Look at that. Well, we won't waste any time on this one. We've seen it already. I'm not going to be repetitive or try not to. So we'll go to a model we haven't seen yet, and that would be this BMW three series that we're going to take a look at right here now this thing is totally different i like this now it's got some damage to the door i can see that already the sunroof is stuck down Ugh. i didn't really like this body style when i first saw it to be honest i wasn't a fan but it grew on me especially the m3 of this car now this is a 328 so it is what it is but man I, this thing this car was beautiful man this thing just this thing just grew on me I, I don't know i don't know how to explain it it just this is awesome man i loved it i love the interior on this thing man even the hardtop 3 series as well of this same generation oh they leave, left the keys in her so she's gonna be dead huh yep that sucks. I hate when people do that. Like, you can't have nice things. Like, everybody wants to do dick moves. 
and you know leave keys in so people can't check out cars it's kind of dick move but it is what it is she's clean though outside of that little bit of body damage she's listed as a run and drive i mean now that sunroof is going to be concerning and a pain in the ass to probably fix that door you know it's not paintless dent repair you're probably going to have to paint it but i you know body fill it paint it i'm not seeing any other damage some cracking in the bumper maybe some spraying and blending because the roof looks like crap too long scratch down the side you may end up just painting the whole car just painting the whole car but the rims and stuff kind of set this thing off it looks nice it could be a decent little beater you know oh and it is offered through pedal so more than likely it doesn't run i mean it runs it might run till you get it off the yard <laughs> ask ask me how i know anyways we're, i didn't even look at that I, I need to start looking at that on to the next one. Oh, look at this we got f-16 oh the thunderbirds are up today they're doing their uh practices for their aero uh aerobatic shows let me see if i can give you guys a look at one of these at these birds probably won't be able to catch them in the frame right Yep, they're doing touch and goes and stuff. Cool. Well, let's go on to the next one. All right, guys. And we get to the next one. And it's the next generation or the next body style of the 3 Series. Now, this thing is listed as a start. And uh, I'm going to guess it's a 320? 328. So it's the nicer version of the newer 3 Series. Not the current body style, but last generation. And oof. That damage is very significant, which is why it's totaled. That's why it's here. Um, if the, I wonder if the door is open and closed still, though. Do they stay closed? Yeah. So it's still latching. Maybe that could be fixed. I doubt it. When it's bent that far back away from the door, ugh. I know someone would say, man, v can fix it. I bet he can. Ooh, air, every airbag popped on this. The seats, the man, except the front. Thank God the front one didn't blow, but damn. This thing is what we call done, done. <laughs> Finish him. This thing is a wrap. Good parts car, though. And at 72,000 miles, that powertrain's actually good in this car. Eh. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. All right, we're gonna roll a little bit more, guys. And this is kind of like the granddaddy of this shit, right? I love, 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 love this car. We'll get into this Hellcat in an upcoming video. But love, love, love this car. This is a BMW E60. It's kind of like when the M5 version of this car came out, it was kind of like BMW had hit the pinnacle, man. They had that V10 and then people found out, oh shit, you got to change the rods, the rod bearings in it like every 70,000 miles like you will grenade the motor. Now this one, the 535 is a decent motor in it. Not as good if you ask me as the 528, um, but I like the, in, I, I'm just a big fan of the inline six. Um, the V6s and stuff, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here for it. So, it is what it is. Let's see if she has any juice. More than likely not. Oh, she doesn't have any keys. Huh, that sucks. Clean though, on the interior. Nicer upgraded interior with the bolsters on the bottom that come out. The cup holders work. Wow, that's usually something that's broken in these. And they click nice. Damn, this thing must be with 187 thousand. No, never use a cigarette. Oh, ashtray. This thing's in really nice shape. I have to be honest. Like even the interior, it's, this is not all nasty. This is common. It starts to fall here, but this is really 
really friggin' nice. The emergency key's gone. Yep. Damn. I like this, man. And this one doesn't have a key. It says no key. See, that's the thing. You don't know. Like, these things were known for transmission problems. But they really, it just was the mechanics unit. You know, the, uh, I don't want to call it the negatronics unit, but that might be what it was called. It was the, the solenoids on these went bad. I replaced mine in my 528 of this exact body style. Um, and then my M5 was a SMG, which is a piece of crap. That's another story. Anywho's, there you have it. Look at that, man. No keys. Tires look good, though, so it looks like they did decent maintenance to it. It could probably be a decent, um, a decent rebuildable car, I guess. It, it probably could be decent. Huh. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments down below. I, I'm fairly interested in this one. I like the E60, man. It was probably, well, the E39 is my favorite, hands down. But then the next would probably be the E60, then the F10 in the 5 Series. I don't like the new shit. I just don't. But there you have it, guys. Wanted to get a BMW video in for you. I know we didn't look at a ton of BMWs. But I also know, you know, I can't run the video for an hour, hour and a half. People will be like, man, I don't want to I don't want to see that. We'll do more BMW videos in the future. Because, um, you know, there's like one, two, three. Like, I could do this all day. So, but, I'll, but a lot of it is repetitive. So if there was something different that was out here on the yard now, I could show you like an M5 or some, something along that lines. I would do that. But being that there isn't, it's kind of like, eh, eh. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the dedicated video today on BMWs. So many BMWs for dirt cheap at Copart. If you like this video, let me know by smashing that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, stay tuned. I got so much more coming soon, man. That subscribe button is free. That thumbs up button is free. And let me know in the comments if there's a specific brand or type of vehicle you guys would like me to do a full dedicated video on. Even if I've already done one in the past, whatever brand or whatever you guys comment the most on is the one I'm going to try to search to find. Why well, somebody put Yugo or something like that in the comments? That would be hilarious. Anywho, uh, that's going to be it for me. I got a little bit more work to do out here today. Things, uh, a vehicle to actually pick up, believe it or not. And, um, and I got to figure out, I got to get it transported. I don't have my truck out here. So, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned. More content, more videos coming soon. There's no auction in today's video because it's a dedicated video on just a brand. But with that said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.